Uh, I'm spinning around in my chair. Some of those told me life isn't fair. I ain't got that many followers on Instagram. Yet every day I'm still going ham. Cause it's only a matter of time for I blow. Watch my reputation explode. On me, nobody's gonna stole nothing. I don't know what I'm becoming. What is good, my good people? This is Jay. For the new peoples, this channel is Double TMN. They took my names. Smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button. Because, well, I'm not back at it again with a reaction this time. This time, this is story time. Something I have not done before. So I decided to give this a try and see what you guys think about it. Since I never really go into any detail on my life. I decided to make this like a, like a throwback to high school. Okay. So, I wasn't your average kind of guy. You know, I stayed I stayed fresh every day, but most of the even though I played football, even though I ran track, even though I was in chorus, even though I was in drama, most of the time I stayed to myself. I just wrote music and I just listened to music. I just walked around and kept to myself unless somebody came to like Bother me. What? It happened in a bad way. Like, if, if somebody came to speak to me, you could be a goth, you could be a vampire or a zombie, you could be. It don't matter who you or what you is. If you want to come and speak to me, you are welcome to come and speak to me. But if. But don't expect me to come, like, come and speak to you. Okay, in my course class. I had um I took a break from chorus. I was already in chorus for the past few years. And I didn't go to chorus my ninth grade year. And people chased me down, found me, and convinced me to rejoin chorus when I got to tenth grade. So came back, auditioned, I got in, boom, bam, boom. Walked in, and next thing I know. Um, I finished singing the national anthem or something like that. Something for the football game. I walk into the chorus room and there are these two girls. I'm not going to give away their names because for all I know, they could be watching my channel right now. But one of them used to give me this crazy look. Mm -mm. That look. Oh, boy. That look she used to give me. Oh, man. But here's the problem. She had a man. But she would just, I remember she would tell me stuff just to get in my head. She would just say things because since she wanted me so bad, but she didn't want to get rid of her man, she would tell me she was going to break up with him. So, um, so when I would get to school, she'd be hugging on me and kissing on my face. And I'm thinking she's getting ready to leave her guy. But then when class starts, as soon as class is over, I see him waiting outside the class. Next thing you know, bloop! I don't exist anymore. She's smacking all on that, that guy's face. I'm trying to, trying to censor my, trying to keep my words, like, to him, you know, down, like, there's certain things I want to say, but I can't. I can't say them. I can't say them. Darn it, man! I can't say them. But um, yeah, she was smacking all on that guy's face, and I had to walk walk past her like, like I ain't see nothing. Had to walk past her like I ain't see nothing. So um, I asked her a question. I was like, okay, so um. I'm starting to get a little, some of these new girls done came into the school. And I'm starting to get a little bit of attention. So, right. So, I go up to her and I ask, um, so is it going to be me? Or is it going to be that dude over there? Mr. Gorilla Man over there. Is it going to be me or is it going to be him? And then she was like, oh, 
it's it's you it's always been you um i'm gonna break up with him i ain't gonna talk to him no more i'm gonna do it today i'm gonna do it today then next thing i know the next morning you know i show i show up because i come to class early i'm I, you know i go to my special spot where i listen to music and write my songs and next thing I know, I look down the hallway, and she's still smacking on this dude's face. So you want to know what I did? You want to know what I did? One of the new girls, I decided to talk to one of them. Well, actually, I talked to both of them. I didn't get both of their numbers. Like They were both literally like standing there. So I decided to talk to one of them. Then next thing I know, when I'm talking to one of them, the other one seems to have a little sassy attitude. And for some reason, I happen to be a little bit attracted to sassy, you know, you know, sassy and smart and, you know, short and, you know, just those, those kind of girls, if you guys know what I mean. So next thing you know, my tip, my attention goes, my attention goes on the other one that I wasn't aimed for in the beginning. And next thing you know, I'm talking to her. And next thing I know, by the end of the conversation, I've gotten her number. Okay, the story doesn't end here though. I've gotten her number, we're talking, the next thing you know, we're dating just like that. And that other girl I told you about that wouldn't leave her man. I'm telling you, she was so mad. Like, I was like, for somebody who's already got somebody, why are you getting so mad? Why why are you mad at me? Because I'm because I want somebody to myself. Why you why are you getting mad at me? I ain't do nothing but go get somebody else since you kept them hiding in my face. So there's no reason for you to be getting mad at me. So <laughs> so I started dating this other this other girl and she's literally giving me evil stares every single day. She's staring me down with the most demonic look you could possibly think of somebody to give you. And then next thing you know, the one I'm dating comes up to me and she asks me, Hey Josh, what's up with that girl in our class? She's been giving me these stank out stairs every day. I was like, what's her problem? And I told her what happened. She's like, oh. And then next thing you know, she qualifies for this. The one I'm dating qualifies for this for this Disney trip. This like this free Disney trip. Free. No money. Just Disney trip. And then, you know, she comes she comes back from the Disney trip. And I get a random call right before Valentine's Day. She calls me talking about, oh, um, don't get me nothing for Valentine's Day. I think I don't think I want to be together anymore. I told you I was a heartbreaker. <laughs> this this lying up a storm, man. And um, the next day I see her walking with. One of my old classmates, Chandler. Oh, oh, oh. His name, well, good thing his name wasn't really Chandler. I just remembered his real name. It's, it's not Chandler. I shouldn't be giving names out. Um, next day, I see her walking with him, and I'll be like, oh, what's up, man? What's up? Oh, you got yourself a new girl? That's what's up. That's what's up, man. You finally found somebody. Then I go back and tend my own business, because honestly, it didn't bother me that much. And then, here's the funny thing. He comes up to me no less than four days later and asks me what the problem was. Next thing I know, she's broken up with him within a week. Isn't that pretty funny? And then she tries to come back to me, but I don't allow things to go down like that. So I said no. And then she got mad. So next thing I know, I come back to class. And 
the girl who wouldn't leave so-and-so that told me she was leaving so-and-so and the one I used to be dating like they they were both enemies at first and now all of a sudden they're just best friends they just all tight what's that saying um the enemy of your enemy is my friend that's what that's kind of the sense of what I what I felt was going on here so um so, oh, oh, almost, her name almost slipped again. <laughs> her name almost slipped again. The first, the first one I was talking about tried to holler at me again. Okay, this is when I get a little frustrated. So, so I send her a text back. Let me mind you that I never asked for her number. She stole my phone when I wasn't looking and put her number in there. And then she started texting me. She, um, what did I say? I, I said she was fake. I said she was fake. And then she got all upset and started crying. Crying, crying, crying. And next thing I know, I come back and my ex actually has the nerve to come up to me after I just fixed my lunchroom plate. She gave me this crazy look and said, oh, so you calling people fake now? <laughs> I was trying to hold back my laughter and I was trying to hold back the words that were accumulating in my mind. And I just, I just shook my head and walked into the direction of which I was about to sit down and enjoy my edibles. In my head, I was like, you are the last person. You are the last person who needs to be sticking her nose in business that's not your business. But um, but I guess I can say that's like, that's like my story from high school. It's one of the main reasons why before I graduated, I made the decision not to date girls that go to the same school as me. Best decision I could have made before graduating. Best decision. Things got so much easier. But yeah, that was story time. I appreciate you guys for listening. Once again, if you could smash that like button and smack on that subscribe button, I would really, I would really appreciate it. And if there's anything you guys would like to hear, would like to say would like to request if you'd like to voice your opinion i value what you have to say just smack it on down in the comment section and well i'll see it till next time till my next video i will holla peace